Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing a review of The Hound of the Baskervilles, according to Spike Milligan. Dane reads. And so this is part of a bind-up of his books, where basically he kind of takes on the uh, original stories and does a re retelling of them in a humorous way. Um, so it says like, Welcome to the world of the classic adventure story, hilariously retold by legendary comic Spike Milligan. And uh, so we've got down here, uh, give yourself the willies with Frankenstein whose monster comes to life craving a cigarette. Join Sherlock Holmes for the Hound of the Baskervilles where Guinness and Newcastle Brown are taken intravenously and a woman cries in the night. So uh, let's go ahead and check out some of my tabs. Now the way I did this, I actually wrote the page that I was on onto this little cardboard thing. It's actually a, it's a business card for the guy I'm buying the house from, but it was the only thing I had to hand. So we're gonna start with page 168. So we just get a lot of great one-liners like, It is acknowledged that you stand alone. At the moment I have an insufficient funds to stand alone, said Holmes quickly. A great line here. I presume that it is Mr. Sherlock Holmes who I'm addressing and not. No, that is my friend Dr. Watson. I am near. I am here near the window. Good heavens, said Mortimer. You're not going to jump out, are you? Not yet. It depends on you. And uh, just a great little couple of lines here. Some great uses of fuck. So, foot, footsteps, said Holmes. Footprints. A man's or a woman's. Dr. Mortimer looked strangely at us for an instant and his voice sank to a whisper as he answered, Mr. Holmes, they were the footprints of a gigantic hound. Oh, fuck, said Holmes. Then on to chapter three, the problem. I confess that at these words a shudder passed through me and out the back. Holmes went forward in his excitement and his eyes that had hard, dry glitter, which shot from them when he was keenly interested. You saw this thing as clearly as I see you. And you said nothing. Yes, I said, look at that fucking thing. A great couple of lines here between Holmes and Watson. We can't afford failure, Watson. You have arms, I suppose. Yes, and legs. And here we get the woman crying in the night. Did you hear a woman sobbing in the night, I asked. Yes, I did. I waited quite a long time, but there was no more of it, so I presumed he'd stop doing it to her, replied Sir Henry. Jesus. And I, another great just little pun here. We found a short valley between rugged high tours. High tour, I thought I saw a putty tap, but when I got there, there was none. And we get this, this line here. I can't forget the look in his eyes when he ran at me this morning, but I must allow that no man could make a more handsome apology than he has done. Did he give any explanation of his conduct? Yes, he said he had piles and they were playing him up. I told him his arsehole has nothing to do with me. You do not use piles as an apology, it's a condition. And here we get Laura Lyons and why uh, she didn't go and meet uh, Hugh Baskerville on the, the fateful day. An elephant fell on me. I tell you, if you heard anything of my unhappy history, you know that I made a rash marriage for which I had reason to regret. If it had been rasher, it would have been bacon. So uh, those are the highlights I wanted to share with you of uh, Spike Milligan, uh, The Hound of the Baskervilles, according to Spike Milligan. Overall, pretty humorous. I don't think you'd want to read it unless you've already read The Hound of the Baskervilles, but there's a lot of humor to it. And it was just quite a, quite fun. It was like nice to be able to re, like, I understood exactly where we, what we were at all times with relation to the original manuscript. And there wasn't any noticeable racism in it, which is quite unusual for Spike Milligan. So overall, I would give it a four out of five. So there you have it, there's my quick review of The Hound of the Baskervilles according to Spike Milligan. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.